Good morning, YouTube familia. In this video, I'm starting off straight away with a workout. So these are single dumbbell deadlifts. I'm doing 30 sets. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing three sets, 30 reps. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing this movement 30 times, three times. Okay, three rounds, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> As you can see later on in the video, I talk about me wanting to do a 30 day challenge. So I'm starting off today, Saturday, April 24th with a workout. I woke up and I just started working out. I'm getting a little sick. I also speak about that a little bit later on in the video. Um, but I wanna do the voiceover. I wanna get this video up. I wanna be consistent. So we're getting it done. So yeah, this is a 25 pound dumbbell and I am doing a single dumbbell deadlifts. Deadlifts are my absolute favorite. I'm very strong in my legs, very weak in my arms. I think that's pretty common for women in general. Um, as you can see, when I bring the dumbbell up, I am squeezing my glutes, but yeah, I'm squeezing you guys. And mind you, I was super sore today doing this because I worked out on, I did like a whole bunch of lunches um, the day before yesterday. So I was super sore, but it's a good sore. So it's, it's definitely, it's definitely a good burn. Then I got this band. Um, I've done workouts with band alone. And listen, it's, it's no joke. I mean, you can get a good workout on using the bands alone and break a sweat. So I got the band and then I am doing banded glute bridges. You just put it um, a little bit above your knee or on your thigh, and then you just go up. And then again, you squeeze on your way up. This workout is a workout that my cousin planned on her gym. I missed the gym yesterday, but I'm doing it at home today. So it's pretty simple. Anybody could do it at home. You could buy these bands at Ross Marshalls. I got mine at Amazon. I think they were like 10 bucks for like a whole bunch of bands. So yeah, I did again 30 of these and then I'm gonna repeat this three times. So both of those movements, 30 each, three rounds. And then I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, for the next round or for the next movement, it's the same thing. I'm doing two different movements. I'm doing these 30 times, three rounds. And this is supposed to be a banded seated tap out. I'm pretty sure that this chair is way too high. I think my feet are supposed to be flat on the ground and then I just open up and then it's supposed to be like a thigh burn out. Um, so I did it with the stool the first two rounds, but then the last round, which I didn't film, I did it on the floor and I got the same effect but I'm pretty sure that your feet are supposed to be um, flat, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then this is a banded side lift. This gives you the craziest burn. It's like, it looks so easy, but you do this multiple times, girl, your legs are gonna be on fire. Such a good burn though, such an easy workout that you can do anywhere, and it's very effective. I did 30 of these, each leg, and as you can see, I'm like dying, <laughs> trying to take a little break. I really try not to break, but sometimes you just have to. <laughs> so 30 on one leg, I flipped over and then I did 30 on the other. I gotta fix the shorts because your girl, you know, she got thick thighs, fixing the shorts and then I'm doing 30 more. For the last two exercises, I did banded clamshell, which is pretty similar to the, um, what is it, to the side lift? I'm not sure which one. One of the workouts we did earlier. But instead, you're just keeping your feet together and then you're just raising your thighs. Clamshell. So yeah, so again, I did 30 of these on each side and I did them three times. And then after I was done with that, I did banded sidewalks. 30 on each leg, three times, and that was my workout for the day. After I was done with this, I went on the bike for 15 minutes, and I got a little bit of a sweat on. It was overall a really good exercise. It took me no time at all. I did it from home, and it was great. 
So, so far so good. Day one of my 30 day workout challenge complete. And every time I work out, I just feel so, so good. I absolutely love it. So if everything goes according to plan, there will be a video up every single day for the next 30 days. After I was done, I drank a lot of agua. I love this container. This is a 64 ounce, half a gallon container. I bought it on Amazon. I usually drink one or two of these a day. Good day, everybody. Happy Saturday. I don't know if this is a vlog or just a diary for myself. Um, I started the day with a workout because even though I'm someone who loves working out, I have a really hard time being consistent. And I wanna be consistent in my life in different areas and working out is one of them. So I put myself on a 30 day workout challenge, meaning that I will be doing some sort of workout or movement every single day for 30 days. Let's see how that goes. Today was day one. I do love working out, I love going to the gym, I love CrossFit, that's my thing. I love how it pushes you, I love HIIT workouts, I love that it really builds your stamina, it makes you stronger. Overall, that is my jam. I'm Sometimes I'm really consistent with it, sometimes I go for a few weeks in a row and then I kinda don't go for a week or two and then I go and I don't go, so I wanna work out every single day. Even if I don't go to CrossFit, I wanna do some sort of workout here at home because I do have a couple of weights, I have a bike, and I have a bar. But I just did my makeup. I think it looks super cute. I haven't done my makeup in forever. I don't really go anywhere, like ever, unless it's to the gym and maybe to run a couple of errands or go to the grocery store. So I don't really wear makeup. There's just, except my brows. I do my brows. Um, all I have to do is, you know, just have my brows done and I'm good to go. But today I decided to do some makeup. I woke up yesterday with like a raspy throat. It's, I, f I feel, I hope I'm not getting sick, but I feel like I'm I'm catching a cold. That's, that's how I feel. Um, my throat yesterday was super, super dry and I just still feel it today. So I'm gonna order some Airborne, OJ, Dayquil, I don't know, a few things. I just don't wanna get sick. Cannot afford to get sick and I barely go anywhere. So I don't even know how I got sick or why I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. This morning was a really good workout. I did three sets of, I used the band a lot. I did the bike. Um, I worked out for almost an hour. And don't underestimate those bands, man. That will give you a sweat. For my hair, I'm gonna use the Marc Anthony Coconut Curl Cream. This is my favorite. This is not a super clean product. I think it has, um, okay, so it's free from sulfates, parabens, and, and phthalates. I don't know if this is a Curly Girl approved product. Every time I use this, somebody asks. I, I, I don't know, I'm sure you guys can Google it, but I do love this product. I love that it leaves my hair super soft, but it leaves my curls defined. I don't like crunchy curls. Um, and I don't like when you use certain gels or certain products that shiny look, you know, like you could tell you have products in it. I don't like that and I don't get that with this um, cream. So I really love it. And then I don't use hairspray, but I purchased two hairsprays from this brand. I'm not sure which one to use. This one says it's a humidity blocking hairspray with shea butter, marula oil for extra strong hold, and the smoothest frizz, um, defy the weather, take control. And it's a level three out of five. And then this one is also, this is the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco, Elevating Finishing Spray. I don't know what that means. But then it says all day hold, flash dry, brushable, humidity resistant, that's the reason I bought it because you know, your girl lives in Florida. The humidity here is no joke. Both of these claim to help support with humidity, with a light hold. And that's, that's the main reason I bought both of those. Man, my throat is like, I feel like it's constantly dry. So I am gonna try those hairsprays today. If anybody has tried them, let me know. Like I said, I don't, God, I don't remember that. I, I don't use hairsprays, it's been years. I think since I was a teenager. Cause when I was a teenager, they didn't really have a lot of things for curly hair. So I would drench my hair in gel and hairspray just to like tame the frizz. But it's been years. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, and I cut my hair. Or Joseph cut it for me. 
<laughs> I blow dried my hair and then he just cut it for me in the shower. He did a good job. It's like super nice. I had, I cut like four inches off. My ends were super dry. So I'm going to finish these. I only have a little bit and I bought two more. That's how much I love this curl cream. So yeah, talking about consistency, um, aside from working out, YouTube is another aspect of my life that I'm not consistent with. And I really love YouTube. I love doing the videos. I think my issue is when it comes to editing, I am so busy when it comes to work and um, my son is now homeschooling and just taking care of a household that I just don't, you guys, if you guys knew how many videos I have filmed and I just never edit them. And then so much time goes by that I feel like it's pointless to post these old ass videos. So I end up just not posting. So that's the other dilemma that I'm having because I really do like filming YouTube videos, but I have to, I guess, time block um, or just better time management so that I can also edit my videos and um, just get those up. So again, being consistent on YouTube is another goal. And I know I've talked about this several times on other videos. I even talked about, I think, I think two years ago, about doing a family vlog channel. That also never happens because again, not consistent. And I also need to work on um, vlogging in public. I definitely don't have an issue talking to the camera at home, but when it comes to doing it in public, I'm just so shy. I, uh, I, I can't, just thinking about it makes me like cringe. But I need to like not give a shit, you know, like what people think. I really don't, I'm that person who really, like I don't give a shit what people think. Like I don't care what y'all think about me. You know, like I'm, I'm that person, but I do get shy. So, kind of makes no sense, right? <laughs> It's like contradicting what I just said. I don't care, but I get shy, so I don't do it. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I need to get over that fear, or not fear, because I've done it before. Just that embarrassment, I guess, of filming in public, talking to the camera in public, especially when I'm by myself. It's like, what is this girl doing? But I shouldn't care. Just do it, you know what I mean? Do it for the vlog. So yeah. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it done. If I can be consistent. I think those are the only two things that have been bothering me lately. Not being consistent with my YouTube channel and with working out. So we had a trip planned for Italy last March. And as you know, last March is when COVID happens. Our flight ended up getting canceled the week that we were leaving. Um, which was so devastating because I've been dying to go to Italy since I was in fifth grade. When I was in fifth grade, we did, you know how, I, I mean, I'm assuming it's still the same because my son did it. When you have your fifth grade project, whether that's a science project or whatever it is, it's like a fifth grade project that you have to do by the end of the year. My son's project was on the Titanic. That was his topic. My topic was um, the city of Pompeii. And... Um, ever since I did that project and I studied about, you know, the volcano eruption and the city of Pompeii, it has been a dream of mine to go to Italy in general, but also just to visit the city of Pompeii. And we had that in the works and it was just so devastating when the trip got canceled. We ended up rescheduling the trip for May of this year and we had we had to reschedule it again um apparently covid is still I, I i guess the numbers over there are still really high and italy itself is on lockdown for like like you can't fly from like rome to milan from like city to city within the country so, i mean that's what we heard um i reached out to all of the people i had airbnbs with to all of the hosts and they told me the same thing so we ended up canceling again, which is so sad. But it kind of worked out because we have other exciting things happening that I will talk about in a little bit, maybe later on. So it just, it just worked out. But yeah, I am still bummed out. And not only that, not only that, um, Joseph's mom is in Italy, my son's grandma. We've never met her. So we were going to meet her. <laughs> I was going to meet my mother-in-law for the first time. Yeah, we had, we were supposed to land in Milan 
and then drive to Rome. We were gonna stay in Rome. We were gonna stay in Positano. We were gonna stay in um, Florence. Where else? And Perugia, where Joseph is from. We we're gonna stay there the longest in Perugia. Um, but hopefully, I mean, I don't even want to say oh next year because this will be the third time the third year that we're like trying to go to Italy we've been postponing this trip but everything happens for a reason I don't even question it everything happens for a reason if something got cancelled it just wasn't meant to be and it is what it is I don't like my part I'm gonna fix that real quick and I need to drink some water my throat is like super dry you know what i don't even want a part i'm gonna just brush it all back all right so i'm gonna make sure my hair is like fully brushed back so i don't have a part and then i'm gonna go ahead and diffuse and then i guess add the hairspray do you add this now or you add it after i don't i don't even know i'm, I'm gonna add it now and i need to drink some water it is super dark in this bathroom it's very yellow there are no windows here and i wasn't about to bring up all the lighting and i just i didn't feel like doing any of that so excuse the yellow light. This is real life. I absolutely love this blow dryer. Definitely 100% worth the investment for me. My personal opinion, I love it so much. I used to have the Chi blow dryer. It was, I think it was like a teal, greenish, bluish color. I had it for years and it finally gave up on me. So I invested on the Dyson and it's just the best. So here's my hair. It's not fully dry, but it's good for now it'll do you see how short it is can you guys see how short it is i do wear my extensions i was wearing them well my hair is about above boob length um and i was wearing my 26 inches last weekend and no problema okay you got short hair you got to trim your hair you got to do the big chop no worries clip in some curly hair extensions and you can still have your length while keeping your hair healthy at the same time okay so yeah, this is what I'm gonna leave it as for now. It could just dry on its own as the day goes on. I am going to check the mail because I got a package from Lulu's. It's one of my favorite clothing boutiques. It's so They sell so many cute dresses. I bought a couple of bathing suits. So I have a really hard time finding bathing suits that make me feel comfortable. I don't like showing my belly. I'm not a bikini type of girl anymore. I used to be, not anymore. So I ordered a couple of bathing suits. I'm gonna go ahead and um, try them on and see how they look. And I don't know what else. I don't know if I'm done with the vlog or <laughs> or if I'm just gonna keep on vlogging for today, but we'll see. But I am done for now. All right, you guys, I am dressed and ready to go to Tarjay. I'm just wearing a simple black cami semi crop top some jeans i love these jeans because they fit me perfect and i'm pretty short and they fit me perfect at the ankle i got super cute flip-flops i got them from target last week and i have to go and get some medicine because i'm not feeling well like as the day progresses i'm feeling worse and worse <laughs> i'm feeling super weak and tired and it sucks because i cannot get sick I'm too busy. I'm a busy woman. I cannot, I don't have time to get sick, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna go get some airborne and some medicine. I'm gonna make myself a green smoothie before I leave. Um, I already have some OJ. I took some medicine here, but I'm running low, so I gotta get some more. So yeah, I'm gonna make a quick run in and out, okay? Keep to myself. I'm not trying to spread my germs, I know, and come back home. I wanted to run several errands, but I'm just not feeling it. I feel super weak like just no energy so yeah i'm gonna go to target get that and most likely i will see you guys tomorrow on day two of working out hopefully i don't feel too uh bad so where i can't work out i'm gonna try my best to just work out every day even if i just sweat it off on the bike something i need to just 
stick to this 30 day workout and get my body used to it. I wanna be someone who works out daily. I think that's the only way I'm gonna see results. And just get, uh, what's the word? Not tight, get firm. That's what I want. I want my body to be toned. That's the word, toned. I wanna be toned. That is my goal, cause I like my figure. I got thighs. I'm just a thick girl, but I like I like my shape. I like my body. I just have to get toned. I want to tone my back and um, my belly. For some reason, the top part of my belly is jiggly. Not the bottom, but the top. She's a little. She has a little jiggle. And my inner thighs. So I want to work on my inner thighs, belly, back, tone. Okay. That's the goal. Maybe I'll show you guys before and after photos. I don't know if I'm that brave yet. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but look, even my nose is getting runny. I gotta go. I gotta go get medicine and just stay my ass home. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.